And welcome back everybody once again to Strawberry Jam number 10, The Apocalypse. We are still playing Mechanized by Mr. Shadow. And yep, I did it. I went ahead and I built a grinder. Um, mainly because I was bored and didn't have anything else to do. So yeah, I just dug out some holes. The skeletons fall and I kill them for the experience and for the bones and stuff. Uh, this one is kind of ugly. If you come over to this one, this one is much prettier. Much prettier. Pretty, except for the little, 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 dang it, dang it, it's just not, not symmetrical. Gah! Uh, but yeah, you know, pretty, pretty basic, pretty basic setup. Um, but I was also running low on health potions, so I needed them. And yeah, I also, I'm gonna try something out new this episode. Where instead of having a shield, which I've been a big proponent of always having a shield equipped because of creeper blasts and whatnot. But I'm going to try having one of these guys in my offhand. And that way I can take advantage of two of the buffs provided. Both the speed buff and also the strength buff from this guy. Plus two to attack damage. Uh, I think we want that sword right there. Let me go ahead and... I also just tore down that and kind of redecorated a little bit, I guess you could say. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more potions, though. You're too far away, guy. I can't reach you. Come here. Come here, Mr. Villager. He's hiding. He does not like me anymore. I've, I've drinking all of his potions. He, he knows that I'm cheating at the game, dang it. You did not find those bones legitimately, guy. All right. Um, well, let's go ahead and do that and that just to... Can he get out? No, no, okay. We're still good, we're good. Um, do I want that, or do I want that? I think I want to get another one of those, actually. Thank you very much there, guy. And... Da -da, where are we going? Into the water. Do not want to take the extra damage. And I have one more of those guys right here. Let's go ahead and... Maybe put that where we typically put our food. Hey, look, there's that one piece of mossy cobble that I need to... To, to make the grinder pretty. Um, Alright, so we have that one. That one says that we're not supposed to go uh, there until we until we find the cooling crystal. So I think we're supposed to head over to this one. Uh, so yeah, we go in a clockwise direction. And look at that, I'm level 41, you guys. I need to find an anvil or find something to spend these levels on. Or else I am uh, just... I'm going to end up dying with like 50 levels of stuff. I guess, yeah, I guess I should probably grab a bit more coal, huh, just to be safe. Alright, that should be good for now, and we have Pulverized Path. I recommend you come here after finding the Focusing Crystal, which we have already done. Oh, and you should have found the Monument, too. Yes, indeed, we have found the Monument. This area, oh gosh, there goes my keyboard. My keyboard has been doing that so much lately. It could also be called Typical Shadow Bridge Area Number 4, but Pulverized Path sounds better. And we got some more fresh water. Bridge to Nowhere by... <laughs> Who was it that, that made the Bridge to Nowhere? I forget the name. It, it, I, I want to say it was Sarah, Sarah Palin, but I don't, I don't think that's right. I think it was somebody else from Alaska. Um, but it, anyways, anyways, two, two, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I've heard bad things about this place. It used to be heavily guarded. The guards have now joined the ranks of the undead, but that is the least of the problems here. Void terrors. Their armor is harder than any blade. My only option is to knock, knock them into the lava below. Neon creepers are even worse, protected by a force field that prevents weapons from even connecting. The only choice here is to let them blow themselves up. No wonder the bots never made it here. All right, so invulnerable creepers and void terrors. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing that they're just you're not going to be able to kill them, but we can we can knock them back. I I think is how that's supposed to work. And what do I want? I was thinking of also doing this kind of stuff where we switch back and forth whenever I need it, but because the hearts take so long to regenerate, oh, they they're not even going to regenerate. I'd actually have to heal. I'm not sure that's really worth it. I think it would make more sense to just have maybe that, or maybe the knockback two wooden wooden shovel, considering that we're going to be doing knockback stuff. Um, I wonder, could I do this? Well, that well that double it doesn't seem to affect it at all. Yeah, so let's just go with the attack boost. Although the attack boost isn't gonna 
is it going to help me here anyways? Because we have invulnerable creepers and nothing that we can even kill. So I guess, I guess we probably want to go with uh, this guy, and we'll get the health whenever the time, whenever the time comes, whenever we actually need it. Bridge guard. All right. So knock you into lava. Knock you into lava, there, guy. This shovel is not going to last very long, though. I'm thinking that I could probably just speed through all of this. Um, okay, that wasn't even the guys who we need to knock back into the lava. That was something else. Let's check out the chest quickly. Oh, thank you, guy. I really, really needed that. And knock back. I already got one of those. Comfy woolen hat. Um, but a bum. That might be better to use here, actually. And look at that. My inventory is already full, you guys. Of course it is. I already got one of those, so I don't think we need another one. Um, protection 2. Yeah, I guess for right now. We'll go ahead and use that guy. It does does take my speed down a little bit. but Bridge guard. So these are the guys that I can actually kill then, I think. If I had to guess. Yes, indeed. Just the Void Terrors and then the Invulnerable Creepers. Oh, and they drop... Oh, they must be uh, husks or whatever whatever the heck those things are called. That give you hunger. Oh, I'm going to get too close. Oh, gosh. I'm going to fall in the lava is what's going to happen. Uh, torches, I will take those. Yeah, I don't like... I don't really like the speed debuffs. Um, too many things, guy. Too many things. Yes, indeed. I definitely want the health. Oh, wow. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. I will take it. Warped bandana, the best of all worlds? Uh, it has to have something wrong with it, though, right? I would think so. Because that's, that's probably going to be better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't make decisions here. It's so, so very difficult. I have way too many arrows. Way too many arrows. All right, let's just go. Wait, no, there was a potion that I wanted. There we go. Gives me resistance. Two seconds of wither isn't so bad. Um, alright, and these guys are supposed to just let blow up. Is there any other way, you know, I have in the past, um, no, you're not supposed to track me, guy. Alright, you're making me uncomfortable, so I think we're just gonna run. I think we're just gonna run. We're just gonna go fast and try to avoid everything and everyone, especially because they seem rather slow, I must say. Let's go ahead and light it up. Light, light, light it up. Uh, but above too many things, too many things. I do not need the infinity. Definitely don't need the infinity. Well, this seems pretty, pretty basic, I must say. Just running straight, straight to the wool, right, or straight to the crystal, whatever it's called. And then on our on our way back, we can take out all these spawners, I guess. Get up and over, up and over, jump, jump, jump. And jump. Oh gosh, that was a close one. That was definitely a close one. Can we get up here quickly and take out the gas spawner before it gives us too many issues? And make sure he cannot get up to us. That was not too bad whatsoever. I still need to make it out of here, I suppose. Anything behind us? Nope. Does not appear so. Uh, da -da, too <laughs> How do I always end up with such a full inventory, you guys? I don't know. I guess we can go ahead and take take something. Let's take the re the regen, I suppose. All right, and let's take out this spawner now. Boom, and get over here and check out the chests. Uh, just lots and lots of the potions, huh? I guess I can always come back here if I need more. I, it tells me now I really did not need to make that grinder. Again, I did it mainly because I was bored. And didn't have anything else to do. You gain resistance one while holding the sword. Oh, that's pretty dang powerful. I can get a lot of those guys, so I don't think I need that. And that. And refresh the arrows, I guess. Be gone, evil, evil skeleton guy. And let's get this creeper to blow up his own home, shall we? Take you out. And light you up. Uh, da da da. Thank you, good good creeper, sir. More of those guys, and more of that. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and just drink the fresh water to get my health back to where it needs to be. Uh, 
All right. And continue on our merry way. I like I like invulnerable creepers, um, but I wish I had other tools at my disposal to be able to to take care of them. Either a flint and steel, uh, or why am I not using that guy? We definitely want to use that guy. Either a flint and steel or a um, one one minute of strength, huh? Ooh, warning. Maybe hot. Um, I no, I want that one. And, yeah, I guess we'll do something like that, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the best option is here. But, yeah, I, or or a bucket of water or something to be able to to handle them in ways that otherwise uh, I'm not able to. Okay, more potions. More potions. Oh, boy, let's actually refresh the torches. Refresh the torches, pretty, pretty, please. And take out all of these guys. Is this something right here? Oh, there is something right there. There's a ladder. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. And... Da -da -da. Oh, it's making me nervous because the ladder is just floating right there. But there is glass down here, so that's... That's nice, right? Oh, it's an emerald. I totally forgot there's emeralds in the map, you guys. Oh, and I found an emerald in... Fine, you just be gone. I found an emerald in uh, the temple. It was hidden behind a false wall. Um, it was made out of... Not, not regular quartz blocks. It was... Gosh, dang, there's so much stuff, you guys. Uh, it was quartz pillar blocks, which gave it away, so I could I could see that there was there was something hidden there. Anyways, anyways, let's go ahead and continue taking out all of the spawners. Nothing. Don't need any of the stuff. Don't need any of the things. The protection too would definitely be better from a defensive standpoint, but uh, it would slow me down to wear that entire set. Uh, to the point that I just don't think it's it's worth it. All right, and that chest I've already gotten. All right, that this area seems significantly easier than the last one, um, and it was kind of eh, you know, kind of. But I guess he I guess he likes to make bridges. I guess he is a fan of the bridges. Let's get back here and we will place the crystal, uh, and and then we'll move on to the next area. I guess I can show you where I found the emerald real quick. Uh, just to point it out to those of you who might want to play the map and haven't been able to find it or something is right here. I even replaced the blocks for you guys just so you could just so you could see. Uh, although whenever I was digging out my grinder, I would have found it anyways because I had to dig dig into the walls and whatnot. And let's go ahead and place place the cooling crystal. You would think this one would be last, but I guess I guess not. All right, that's not not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, ba -da -ba. And that gives us four emeralds. There have to be more hidden, right? Because there's only one area left. Um, yeah, maybe I should go back to that last area and look around a little bit just to see if I find something. I think we're good on potions, though. Yeah, you guys agree? <laughs> you guys agree we're got plenty of the potions plenty of the potions yes indeed so yeah I'm gonna head back there and see if I can't find anything uh, I guess there may also be some emeralds hidden around this place although I don't see any indication like lighting or anything like that so who knows who knows oh oh I found it I found it all right, so that gives us five, but that still means that there's going to be four hidden in the final area. I have a hard time believing that. Um, but yeah, I guess that is indeed the case. And we will go ahead and take... Uh, we'll take one of you guys, I suppose. All right, and we are now headed to... Is this the heating crystal? I forget which this one is. Area mechanized. I recommend coming here after finding the cooling crystal. Yes, indeed. We have found both of the <coughs> both of the other crystals. 1.10 boats plus packed ice equals best transport. I remember seeing this. I've never actually tried it out, though. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
Wow, that is that is crazy fast. Oh gosh, I'm in the wall. In the wall. That is incredibly. I actually, I don't know. Is it is it really that that much faster than just sprinting? It feels pretty comparable. I guess you don't have to use hunger and stuff. Not that there is actually hunger in this. Um, but I'm bum. Really, I have to teleport. I can't just. I can't just. Just, just bridge over there. Just bridge straight. No, I'm just kidding. Well, this must be the city then. Looks like the bots have to totally covered the place. Wait, have totaled, have totaled the place. Converted the whole thing into one giant factory. Hmm, looks like they are using red power cables to take energy from the power crystal and distribute it across the city. I can see the vault from here. Time to pull the plug. Yes, indeed. Time to pull the plug. Uh, yeah. I guess we're teleporting. If I had to guess, we're going to teleport right there, maybe? I also see where there's probably an emerald right there. Although that, that might be an emerald, because it's green. I don't know, let's let's just let's just go ahead and get in there, shall we? And see what we can't find. Nope, I was right. The bedrock looked green from a distance. That was that was odd. Um, looks like charge creepers in that direction. I do see a hole over here, or a hole, a doorway, same thing, whatever. Whatever you want. To, oh, that's not that's not a doorway. That's not a doorway, guy. That's that's just yeah. That is not a doorway. How do I get into the place? Let me in. Let me in. Let me out. Let me out. Uh, but above, I don't know. I assume that we want to head in through that door, but what about these buildings off to the side here? Are these purely decorative? Or do these serve an actual function? Um, that is not a doorway either. It's just a facade. It's like those fake towns that you see at Universal Studios where there's where there's nothing nothing actually inside of them. Um, that's where I saw the emerald, correct? I do believe so. Gosh, you're going to make me come all the way over here and waste all of my blocks, huh, guy? Fine, fine, fine. I will do it. Alright, got another emerald. Um, probably another one over there. That's still only two, which leaves two more left. Hmm. Huh, I see. All right, well, I'm sure we'll find more health potions, so let's just go ahead and use that guy right now. Did that only heal one and a half? That seems odd to me. Are you guys... Oh, that's a cool-looking effect right there. Okay, they are killable. K killable? They're, they're killable. Killable. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. Uh, but they're not invulnerable like the other ones were. I kind of want to just go back and get the other emerald real quick, but I don't want to get too close to the building and start setting things off. It'll either make it really difficult for me or make things a bit too easy uh, if they despawn. So let's just go ahead and get back here. And where is the big tower? All right, and another emerald. Fantastic. Yeah, I could bridge over there. Okay, I see at least one more emerald in there. So maybe there are going to be four in this area. And I'm not gonna have to go searching around the map for for that last emerald, just just like buried 30 blocks deep under the initial starting area or something crazy like that. Whew, okay. Now I think things are gonna get a bit more exciting. Things are gonna get a bit more exciting indeed. Because we're actually gonna do some fighting. Hopefully at least. Hopefully I will take all of those. Let's switch to the cobble. Um, I could take some resistance and some speed, but let's try to get a sense of what this tower has to offer. Honestly, it's kind of reminding me of the tower from the painter. Uh, just the the aesthetics of it. I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of of the the red wool area from the painter, uh, which I just finished and was definitely one of my favorite areas in the map. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo, let's get over here. I should probably switch back to my gold one. I'm kind of tempted to go back to... Uh, oh, he's another switcher. Another switcher guy, and he ended up in the lava. Tempted to go back to the other area to find... Dodge, you guys can go ahead and fight it out, please. He's going to follow him right down there. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh, oh, protector drone, huh? Oh, gosh, it's a floating guy. Floating guys, floating guys everywhere. Uh, dodge all of the arrows, please. 
And let's go ahead and just take one of these guys to regen all of that health. Uh, protector drone. Is that gonna... That's not gonna get me to full health, is it? Huh. I thought for sure it would get me to full health, but that is not the case. Let's just go ahead and take these guys out from a distance. I do see quite a few of them. Uh, maybe we can just go up this direction uh, first and foremost. Uh, and that way we can avoid those guys on the ground there. Let's just go ahead and take one since I do have a lot of them. And the next thing you know, I will have zero left. And I'll be like, what the heck happened to all of my potions, you guys? My potions just disappeared. They are gone. They are no longer here. They are not real. Um, that's okay, I guess. And don't really need any of that, but I will take that. Uh, can you guys get to me? What are those guys floating on, anyways? Punch them off. Oh, they're, they're like, levitating. Oh, gosh. Okay. Take you out. Take you out. Let's hop over here. And boop, boop, just like a so. And I can get some of them to, to run off the edge, I'm hoping. Um, my pick broke, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take another one. And get more on the bar. It might make sense to go ahead and use uh, some of that resistance just to prevent the amount of damage that these guys are doing to me. Let's go ahead and shoot them off. And take out all of the... Ch Is he not really there? <laughs> Like, where are they? I can't... I, whoa. Yeah, what's going on there? Is he... The arrow, like, went through him initially. That was that was really odd. Alright, and stuff is spawning above me. Yes, indeed. Take you out. Very slowly. And take you out. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Got him. Why am I hearing blaze? Oh, they must be... Yeah, they're above me. I see a chest this direction, though. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. A little bit of regen. Gots it. And... Yep, I already got that. Got that. Got that. Got all of the things. All of the things. The extra armor might be... Uh, it might be worth it. Although, I like, I like the speed, too. So... Whatever, whatever. Oh, I'm just letting blazes spawn like crazy over here. Definitely want to avoid that. Sentient turret. Are they stationary then? There are quite a few of them. Oh, I hear my daughter. My daughter is waking up. I may have to take a take a break here. Mouse droid. It looks like. Oh, come on, guy. Yep, my daughter is definitely awake. All right, you guys. Well, I will... Uh, be right back with you here momentarily. Alright you guys, I am back. And I'm thinking about maybe taking some some potions. Like some of this resistance and the speed maybe. Dodge the fire, please. Oh, 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 oh. Barely, barely got it, barely got it. Oh gosh, so close. Oh, so much fire, so much fire. I really enjoy the, the, the Blaze Silverfish combo. I think that's a nice combo. Although, Silverfish in 1.9, 1.10, their hitboxes are so tiny that it's kind of a little unfair to the player. Oh gosh, do not fall off there, guy. Got it. Take out the Creeper. I think the Silverfish fell there. Uh, maybe we'll hold off on taking the potions, though, until I feel like we're in a lot of, a lot of danger. Um, there's a chest that direction, but I want to first take out this spawner, I think. Oh, he killed his own silverfish, friend. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Got it. Let's just go ahead and jump over here and not dodge the fire. We did not dodge the fire. No, we did not. Oh, hello. Hello there, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Take out the droid. Let's go back down here and get this, um, get this uh, chest. And we're getting really low on potions. I'd rather not have to return to get more, but we may end up needing to do so. Although we're finding we're finding a nice supply here. Oh yes, please. Definitely want that. Definitely want that. 
I'm not sure. I don't know. Taking those might be better. Oh, and that's better than the sword that I have. It might be better to use the chain armor instead of what I'm using here, but I enjoy the speed boosts and whatnot. Uh, let's take this guy out from a distance since he's looking all, all lonely and sad over there, and it's making me depressed. And you as well there, guy. Knocked him down to the next level. Um, but I'm, uh, I was going to do something. I cannot remember what I was going to do. Oh, I was going to take this guy, I think, just to just to get out of the inventory and give myself that extra little bit of, of health, that extra half a heart of health. Who is firing at me? Um, I have no idea. I guess it's the guy on the outside there. And destroy you, creeper above us. Um, there's a staircase, but then there's the ladder. The creepers are making me a little nervous, so I think I'm going to... Just go ahead and take this guy out. And can we get up here in time to destroy the spawners? Yes, we can. And... Oh, it looks like we're supposed to go out the window there. But let me get back down here and check out these chests real quick. Strength. More of the fresh water and more resistance. I don't think I'm going to use that single... <laughs> that's That single ladder. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Um, Alright, let me go ahead and take another one of these guys. And one other chest to check out up here, I do believe, before we jump out the window. Nothing fall on me, please. Uh, we have Phantom Blade. Uh, power 2, sharpness 4. It's really not any better than the bow that I have right now, but I will take it nonetheless. Uh, and I think, we, I think we have enough arrows. <laughs> I think we have enough arrows. All right. Um, but I'm... Uh, yeah, let's hold off on taking uh, taking any potions until I feel like I'm in, in real danger. Real danger. Real danger. Um, the name tags definitely help out in being able to... Let's just try to avoid those guys. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hello there, Mr. Drone. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, you, really? you spawned so fast there, guy. All right. Taken care of. I don't know if I want to... Oh, gosh. Um, that's the entrance, right? I was thinking there was like an emerald over there or something. But I don't think that's the case. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're safe. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead and take one of those guys for now. And... that uh, Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, lots of, lots of the things above me. Lots of the creepers. Another chest as well. Definitely don't want those guys getting close. Oh man, there's so many of them too. Take all of them out. I need to I need to attract the attention of these creepers and get them to to come over maybe. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Get up here quickly. Destroy. Destroy. Got it. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Let's get another health potion on the bar. And we have a chest over here. Another one of those. Don't need that. Lots of the golden apple stuff. Let's put that those guys up. Speed, resistance, health. Yes, indeed. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this guy. All right, I went ahead and I cleaned up my inventory a little bit. It was getting a little unruly. And what else? Yeah, I guess I, guess, I think I'm going to go ahead and take some strength. And some resistance, maybe? Oh, and I switched to my shield, uh, too. And then we're going to take this guy. Uh, and that way I can block if I need to. The creepers are making me nervous. Not to mention that the all this way up and you can still see the lava down there. Want to turn this into a dropper map? No, I would rather not. Tower bottom two-way. Um... Not sure why we would need that teleporter. Oh, gosh dang, guy. Got it. Everybody's everybody's shooting at me. Um, but up uh, Can we maybe get some light up here? There's actually plenty of light. Plenty of light. Yes, indeed. Plenty of the light. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. One more, please. Gosh, there are a lot of the turrets up there. And this does not seem to be slowing down the creeper spawners either. Can I shoot all these guys off, maybe? Hey, go, go, go. Take it out, take it out. Back away, back away. 
back all the way away and do that as well. Um, another health potion on the bar. I have a feeling that my my buffs have run out. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them, you guys. So many of them. Oh, another one over there. I hear you coming for me, Mr. Silverfish. Uh, we need to, I think, like, just get in here and start taking these guys out. If we can. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Oh man, okay. Uh, da 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 da. And I think, I think I need to take another one of these guys. Yeah, I think so. Oh man, I I wonder if the best option here is to just, just try to run through it all. Gosh, dang, there are so many of them. The ladder is right there. Uh, and the silverfish, thankfully, are burning to death, I think. Oh, gosh, dang it. No, no, no. Yeah, I really need to get out there and just... Ah, ah, I don't know what to do here. Do not know what to do here. Got it. Okay, slowly, slowly dwindle them down. Now that we've taken out the spawners. Are you going to come for me, Mr. Mouse Droid? I have to say, the whole sci-fi, like robots and stuff, that's that's not a genre you see very often in these CTM maps. I kind of like it. I do indeed. Kind of like it. Die, Mr. Mouse. Oh, gosh. That was close. That was close. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a switcher below me. Interesting. I wonder if he just fell down there. Oh, yeah, I shot him down there, huh? I do think that is what happened. Do not try to be sneaky there, guy. You are dead, and that means the silverfish will fall to their death. We good? We safe? I don't see anything above me, so I'm hoping that we've made it to the top now. I kind of I want to hold off on taking my final potions. Um, yeah, I hope there's nothing else too bad up here. And that this is merely the wool. Um, but um, bah. see that yellow? See that yellow? That's the exit. Uh, see that yellow? That's the exit. I I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. It's pointing in that direction. Isn't that the exit? Am I supposed to bridge? little confused at the moment. Energy crystal. And we still haven't found all the emeralds, you guys. I could have sworn that I, that I saw one, like, inside of this tower somewhere. Um, see that yellow? That's the exit. Yeah, I don't I don't know what, what that means. It's pointing in that direction. I mean, there's yellow that, that way. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to fly? You want me to fly over there, huh? You really want me to fly, guy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I do not know about that. Emerald up here? No, there's a speed. To that seems kind of odd to put that. Why would I need that stuff if we've already defeated the dungeon? Huh. Um, anyways, I need to go and search through the dungeon to see if I can find any more emeralds. And then if I can't find any more, that means that they're hidden elsewhere in the map, so... Anyways, I will be back with you guys once I've found something interesting. Alright, well I did find one more emerald. I think that that gives us eight now, I want to say. It might only be seven, though. Seven or eight. Um, and honestly, I didn't even notice that there was lava down here. It, it said something about lava earlier. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, guy. Can we just block up here to where that teleporter is, maybe? Uh, but up uh, right here. And that way I can teleport all the way down and check out the lava for emeralds, if need be. Alright, I guess we're going to try to fly over there. Do I see something underneath right there? I think maybe I do. Maybe that's where the emerald is. I wonder why I didn't notice that before. So I'm going to take some speed. And then, I don't know if that affects elytra flight. I'm so nervous because I'm just terrible with the elytra. I can never even get it to freaking fly, so... Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And this, and... 
Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. Yes, there is indeed. Oh, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Just smack into the wall. So is this the fourth and final emerald right here, then? I would hope so. Bam, number four. And I think that's what I was looking for. All right, you guys. Hop in our boat and go, go, go. No, that's, that's definitely faster than sprinting. Definitely faster than sprinting. I feel so fast because I got the speed. I got everything going. And now we just need to craft the emerald block. I put the emeralds around here somewhere, I think. I think in this chest, maybe? Yes, indeed. And place the third and final crystal, and we will be done with the map. No deaths. Definitely a couple of close calls, though. Especially early on. I think you know that's that one was a lot of fun. I love towers like that with the walkways and whatnot. Um, and this one, the second dungeon was kind of eh, you know. It was just a straight shot to the thing, and I pretty much ran past all of it. All right. Uh, emeralds? Emeralds? Anybody? There's four emeralds. It did say that there's ten emeralds, so you're allowed to use one. I did not ever find the fourth one, but that's that's okay, right? And I'm thinking that we put the emerald block right there. Yeah, emerald block. It looks so fancy now. Thanks, thanks. Anna? Who is Anna? Are you Anna? Is that the map maker? Uh, da -da -da. And I think I may have referred to the map maker as a he. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. And energy crystal has been placed. We have completed the map. This one was a lot of fun. I liked all the unique things going on. The, the kind of class system that you get to choose from and you get to switch back and forth. Uh, the tower at the end was great. The trading system. I think maybe it's a little too easy. Uh, simply because of the abundance of potions. Although, yeah, even then I still kind of started to run out towards the end. Um, I think those creepers in the last dungeon could have been a little harder. But yeah, otherwise, otherwise I really, I really enjoyed the map, and I liked, I love to see, you know, what map makers can come up with as far as new mechanics and new challenges and that kind of stuff. So. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next map.